dress so that's why I'm trying to keep myself covered up um, it is almost 8 30 here um, it is Wednesday today is the second day of school we started yesterday um, and I've just I'm getting ready to go get myself together and so I've made the kids some breakfast this is just some toast um, an egg and some fruit and I've got all their plates fixed some have already gotten themselves dressed and situated for today. And so we are going to start our day. Okay, so now school is in session. The kids have gotten themselves together. So everyone, bless you, so everyone is working. We always work together. Um, because I'm able to go in and help everybody if need be and everybody feels comfortable when they're able to work together versus trying to work by themselves. So this is how our school day goes. Okay guys, so it's lunchtime. What I did was I made the kids some um, smoked sausage hot dogs. They'll have that with chips. And then for my lunch, I am having this um, gumbo by Tony Satchery. I know it's not, it is lunch, it's not homemade, but I like to add my own touch to it and it makes it taste homemade so that is what's going on and then I made me a side of cornbread right here and um, I'm not gonna eat all of it but if it's some leftovers I'll put it in the refrigerator or some of the kids may want it but I've got some um, beef kielbasa sausage um, a diced half of an onion some minced um, fresh garlic and a pound of peeled and deveined shrimp and a can of diced tomatoes. And all I'm gonna do is saute my meat all together, and then I'm gonna let um, this with the tomatoes cook for 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna fold everything in. So, yes, and I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Oh, and I also have, <clears throat> excuse me, I also have some Kerrygold's butter that I am going to saute everything in, and right now it is 11.35, everyone is done with schoolwork, and we will continue to enjoy our day after lunch. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. Looks good, and I've already sauteed all that, and I'm gonna put it in there and plate it up. Okay, so it's noisy in here, but this is my gumbo. Doesn't it look delicious? It is so good too. So I'm about to eat this, and I will see you guys dinner time. Okay guys, so now it is 3.33 and I'm about to get dinner on. I just put a cake in the oven. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes. So Andrew, go ahead and um, I've got my slow cooker out and I sprayed it. Um, it's starting to warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and I make some crop, crop pot spaghetti. This is some ground beef that I cooked in advance. I love to do this because it saves me so much time and it's pretty warm here today. And so I don't have to run the stove. This can just go on and we'll eat about 6, 6.30. So I'm gonna put it on um, low and just low and slow. And then I'm gonna make some homemade bread and we'll be having dinner. i show you, like I said, I have in my slow cooker some ground beef. It's still frozen, but it's cool because it's already ready. I have one can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add those. I'm do this, I do the same recipe every time I make um, spaghetti, the same recipe. So I'm just gonna show you um, really quick what I add in there. Um, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce um, because it has that beefy flavor. I'm gonna add in some paprika. Was about a teaspoon of paprika. I'm gonna add in some Italian seasoning. I've just got a little bit left, so I'm gonna use all of that. I have some Parmesan, um, garlic Parmesan seasoning that I love to use um, on my spaghetti, my lasagna, um, any type of Italian dish, and I'm just gonna use a good bit of that. It's really flavorful. Um, and that was about a tablespoon. 
You can find that at Walmart. I'm gonna use um, a dash of crushed red pepper, not too much to where it's spicy. I'm gonna use, of course, some granulated, well, chopped onion right now. I'm gonna use a good bit of that. I could chop up an onion, but I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm gonna use, of course, some parsley. I'm gonna use a fourth a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I have the remaining of my minced garlic that I've had for like three months that I get at Sam's Club. It's so convenient because it tastes, it makes your dishes taste so fresh. And to me, it, I don't have to worry about chopping that, chopping garlic up. I don't have time for that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all know the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is give this a stir. Oh, I'm gonna also add a cup of water. Just to kind of, hold on Joshua. I just did a Walmart delivery for a couple of items that we are out of, just some drinks. Um, and I needed some more paper towels. Paper towels do not last us long in this house. It doesn't matter how big we get the container. <laughs> okay, and I have this on high. For right now and all I'm gonna do is add a, um, a cup of water to I have two cans one of roasted garlic parmesan and then one three cheese I like to mix and match them along with the cup of water there will be tons of sauce and I'll make um, some noodles to go with this and you'll see me make the bread so I've added the sauce I had to I don't have my tripod out right now because my camera battery is about to die. So I had to pause recording because this is real life stuff, y'all. No, um, no camera crews, no Nola. I'm all of it. The camera crew and the cook at the same time. So it's just real life. No food network here. <laughs> um, so I had to make do put the camera down while I add the sauce so this is it and it smells so delicious so garlicky and delicious so i'm going to put the lid on this and like i said i have it on high and it'll cook for about three hours i may take it down because it's um it'll cook about two an hour to two hours because everything is just, just going to be simmering so the beef is kind of frozen still so i don't want um it to be cold so i'm going to keep it on high and that is it now let's get to that homemade French baguette. Okay guys, so I'm back. Y'all see me. I got on my favorite dress that it's in every video seem like. I love this dress. It's so comfortable after and and I can like literally clean and everything and this dress does not fade. But anyway, it's not about my dress today. I have, of course, right here in the slow cooker, my spaghetti, which I had, you saw me add all my spices and stuff to it. And now in this bowl, I'm just making this bread mixture. But what I have in here is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I have, let me get my warm water. I need one cup of warm water. And this is just throw everything in here and go. That's what I like about it. So while my water warms up, I have um, a half a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar, and I'm putting my yeast in here now, which is one and a half um, tablespoons of, of instant yeast. Okay. 
cup of my warm water right now. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and have yeast. I had to end up and open up a new pack of yeast because one of my kids ended up and was playing in, playing in the pantry. And I noticed that my yeast had been tampered with. I know some people put yeast in their freezer. Um, tried that but my yeast I just store it it's in a warm they say store it in a, a cool dry place Parmesan to my bread, about a teaspoon. And I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon of this grapeseed oil. You can use olive oil, I'm out, and I'm not going to the store because my van will be ready on Friday. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna just give this a stir really quick just to combine everything. And I use so many different bread recipes, I'm telling you. So many different, so if you're wondering if this is the same one from a previous video, it's not. So. But either way, it's easy. Okay, so I combined that in and now I'm gonna add the warm water. Usually the recipes um, that I use, you, you um, of course let the yeast puff up, but that's only if you're using um, an active dry yeast because it has to puff up for about 10 minutes. So the consistency, I want you to see it. This is the consistency of, usually this is, if you notice, this is my hand um, mixer. Um, right here. I just don't feel like going over there doing that and having to move. My camera is charging because otherwise it'll die. And then my big tripod is right there while my camera is doing its thing. So, but all I'm doing is I'm just gonna mix this up right here. It's a little wet. So when it's wet like this, all I do is add a little bit more flour. until it gets to the consistency that you would want it to be. This makes two, this will make two low haul video when I went to Costco and at home these were that was the, the 20 piece set and I absolutely love it it was $20 well worth it and I will be going back to get me some more so if you have it at home in your city or near you or you can maybe I'm pretty sure you can order it online you should definitely get you some of those bowls because they do so well I lightly sprayed it, that's the way it should look. I'm gonna cover it, 45 minutes, and we'll be good to go. I'm just gonna sit it to the side, and they close very well too. That's what I like about it. So, I don't have to cover this with a towel, it's sealed up, but I am gonna put it near my stove. My stove is still kinda warm, so. Yes, I'm gonna clean up this mess. And by that time, give my 
sauce. Oh, it looks and smells so garlicky and so delicious. Get everything cleaned up here and I will be back to show you how it looks when the dough is doubled in size and then roll it out. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. This is how it looks. Doesn't that look beautiful? Yes! <laughs> I'm so silly. Anyway, okay. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just going to flour, ooh, it's hot. Just push out the air, as they say, push it out. Okay, and I'm gonna flour my surface. so that ugly side won't show. Put that under. Two loaves of bread. I'm gonna show you so you can see very well. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slit the bread. If you want to slit it, you can. This is just for the look, but you do not have to. So we're gonna let this rise for 45 minutes. I'm gonna actually cover this with some plastic wrap. And I already have some, um, excuse my flowery hands, but I have some softened one stick of um, unsalted butter and I put some of that Parmesan um, and garlic um, seasoning in that. And then I put about a teaspoon of just um, finely granulated garlic extra garlic. And so when we'll spread this on there once it comes out. And then I have an egg with some water that I um, took out earlier. It was an extra egg that I had for my cake that is over there cooling. And I'll spread this on there once that's finished doubling in size and we'll come back and I'll show you how it looks. Oh boy. Uh, so um, it has been 45 minutes. Look at the bread. I'm just now removing it off. You see how I'm trying to let my camera get focused. It is doubled in size. Looks really good. This is going to go in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown, flaky, and delicious. 
I just pulled this out. Look at this delicious bread. Doesn't it look so delicious? Yes, homemade bread. And then of course, stop pulling out. Thank you. Cameron, get that water bottle up. We've got our garlic butter. We've got our noodles. And we've got our hot cheesy spaghetti. Yes. So that is it for today. And I will see you guys next video.